Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your Abundance, Finance, and Opportunities reading. I'm doing this reading um, during the full moon and lunar eclipse in Capricorn season. Um, this full moon is called the Thunder Moon. And the, as we know, during eclipses, the moon energy is um, pretty much stronger than usual. So I encourage you guys to check out your moon sign and um, listen to the um, related videos on that so you could get more insights with regards to your abundance. All right? Also, um, during this season, I would like to encourage you guys to focus more, especially this full moon and lunar eclipse, yes? Focus more on um, spending time doing some... Uh, serious thinking of where you are at right now in life. I know that we don't really spend so much time on that, but this time around, I encourage you to do that. Delve into your deeper thoughts and try to see what happiness really means to you. Are there areas in your life that um, you think would need a little bit of fixing, a little bit of repairing? And take time to address those if you can. Especially now we are in the middle of the of the year, um, halfway into 2019. So, so this reading would pan out. The energies for this reading would pan out for you from today until the end of the year, I should say. And given that the full moon and the lunar eclipse are happening in um, Capricorn, and you know that Capricorn is mainly focus on um, or related to earthly matters, um, anything that's tangible in the material world, then this would encourage us to focus more on our career, focus more on attaining work-life balance in general, and most importantly, physical and mental well-being. All right. I also encourage you guys to um, do a stock check, like examine all the things that you are currently doing even those things that you have already incorporated in your daily routines, even those um, steps or things that you do for other people of um, being responsible or being accountable for other people's responsibilities. So those kind of things, um, I encourage you to do a stock check on them. Think things through on the things that you think you should do versus the things that you want to do. And with that list, um, try to see what are those things that would still aid you to go towards your ultimate goal, to that, to your own path, yeah, towards your goal. And if you have identified things that are no longer serving your higher good, now is the time to let it go, especially this um, full moon and lunar eclipse. It's letting go, all right? And know that changes that we do now, Virgo, you have Hierophant here. Changes that we do now or the lack thereof of changes will definitely have um, a big impact in our life for the rest of the year or even for the rest of the years to come. Yeah, it's always that uh, consequences of our actions and decisions. All right, so Virgo, let's go. Let's uh, proceed with your abundance, finance, and opportunities reading for... July until December of 2019. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right. Wow. Virgo, you have justice. You have Ten of Wands. You have Page of Cups. You have the world. Beautiful. You have the Fool. Wow. You have three major arcanas, Virgo. Significant changes coming your way. Your current financial situation, I see that um, you're putting, you are now reaping the rewards of, reaping the rewards of the things that you've done in the past. If you have been operating with integrity, with honesty, with good from you, the goodness of your heart, then definitely this is karmic justice. So I do feel that whatever or wherever you are at right now in terms of your finances and um, or financial stability, this is mainly driven by 
how you were in your previous dealings. So let's say, I could also say that you are now trying to bring back balance and um, honesty in your dealings. Alright? If you have done what's right basically in the past, then definitely you will get that kind of um, of karma in life, right? But if it's the other way around, that's definitely the karma and how you perceive it to be anyway. You know, karma can be good or bad or just how that person perceives it to be. But this is a um, an effect of what you have done previously. Yeah. Another way of putting it is that now I see that you're trying to instill balance, instill truth in your dealings right now. All right? If there were cracks previously, you're trying to work things out to stabilize it. Yeah? By sticking with your truth, by sticking with what you think is right. Okay? And Virgo, I see that for some of you, you may have taken a lot of, you may have taken some burdens or responsibilities in behalf of other people, yeah, that may have left um, those people like waiting on you or depending on you, okay? So the opportunity I see here is, as I've said in the intro, um, it's it's better to do a stock check on what you think is your responsibility, what you think you want to work on, rather than what you should do. Although this um, energy right here is could also talk about what you should do, right? What what is the right thing that you should do? But nevertheless, the, there's the opportunity I'm seeing for you here in the next six months is for you to do a stock check and find out what are the things that you want to do because if you're taking all those things that you should do it burdens you yeah and even though you have that urge to have a passionate beginning of something you don't have the energy to do it you wouldn't have an energy to do it so before getting to that state of exhaustion try to put down all the burdens that may not be so relevant for you f moving towards your ultimate goal in life all right because when you do that this if you do that um, um, step if you take on that opportunity it will benefit you greatly you'll get some offers somebody you will based on this energy I see that there's an offer that would be coming towards you you may not see it as a grand offer right but it's an offer of abundance somebody will connect with you and will offer some sort of um, agreement some sort of they will give you some information relating to possibly um, possibly something related to uh, this person's um, passion or there could be some form of uh, this uh, uh, someone would come towards you telling you that this is what I want to do this is what I love doing and I need your help so an example for this I see that for, for this kind of offer is that perhaps you're a uh, computer developer like a programmer for instance somebody will come to you and say hey I have this passion for business A B and C but I don't know how to um, uh, come up with the program to do it can you do that for me and I'll pay you back in return you know that kind of offering and that sort of offering I see here yeah but this offer you would only be able to see this once you put down the the other burdens that doesn't serve your good okay for some of you this could also be like a job if you're in a job right now that you are not you're you are no longer happy with 
you may be in a job for 10 years and then you don't have any more passion in doing your day-to-day -day job and you feel like you know you may not be appreciated well maybe it's time to to consider other options yeah to consider checking out other options because there you will see that a fresh wonderful offer that could give you abundance is coming your way all right that's gonna happen in the next six months I feel strongly about that okay um, what I'm getting to is for other source of income though uh, the opportunity to get other sources of income here is that you embracing the fact that ending a cycle could also be a good thing to do. Sometimes you are afraid of ending a cycle. Sometimes you are afraid of, let's say if you've been working in a company for 20 years, resigning on the 20th year could be very unwelcoming for some, yeah? Um, but here, there could be an energy right here that, you know, you might have that uh, idea in mind that, well, I could resign from this and I could create a new business. I could start a new business. So that shift of mindset is, a, is definitely an example of you embracing the completion of a cycle successfully because you know now where to go next. Okay? So that is that is right there. The um, another source of another um, energy where you can bring in abundance into your life is to embrace the essence of completing a cycle, and definitely to be ready for the next step. Okay, you can't just be okay. I'll resign now, and then I'll sit here waiting for the universe to give me something. No, and you Virgo very well know that that is not the case, right? There is that, sometimes there's that fear of completing a cycle, but in this case, there is this, this energy right here that um, is telling you that if you embrace that cycle, the end of that cycle, that can also be another source of abundance for you because that will open up a new set of opportunities that will greatly benefit you, that will definitely bring you more offers. Okay? And the likely outcome here, Virgo, I see for you is that you taking the leap of faith. You've already even jumped off the cliff here. <laughs> this is the after tarot here. And as you can see, after jumping off the cliff, the fool is still nonchalant, smelling the roses, not even afraid of where to go. Because completing a cycle here means that there's some learnings. I've learned what I needed to learn. Now it's the time to start something new, something fresh. Yeah? Not afraid of any risks because you know you've completed that cycle. There's nothing else to do or there's nothing else to grow in that cycle. It has to be completed in order for you to start a new cycle. Yeah? This could be with regards to your business. If, you're, if, you've, if your business have already grown for instance like you know your startup business and then now it's time for you to go for IPO or things like that in, in, in that similar sense a cycle needs to be completed wrap it up and move on to the next endeavor or mo move or raise that endeavor into a higher level of um, towards success basically all right let's see what else do we have for Virgo let's see any more thoughts any more advices for Virgo here any more insights? Hmm. Wishes come true and key. Or delving into what really um, the main cause of an issue. But basically what I'm seeing here is that um, there is now this is wishes wishes regarding wishes and resources that you have and this talks about solutions the key to solutions right so in a literal sense you can say that your wishes 
can come true. There are solutions to get through that, into that wishes, to make those wishes come true. Yeah. These are solutions, basically. Let me see. Let me get more insights for you here. For... Yeah, so basically that is the key, key to your discoveries. Oh, okay, so these are solutions and discoveries. This talks about um, wishes and getting into the bottom of things. Discovery too. So Virgo, if there are two things that you really need to like to keep things handy in the next six months is that knowing that there are key to what we dream for there are solutions or there there is that path that you can really walk on to get to your dream if you know how to delve deeper into a because this can also talk about delving deeper into um, the root of the matter this could also talk about wishes come true okay simply put there are solutions to getting your wishes come true. So that's the um, words to live by for you. Virgo, I'm going to leave it at that. If, um, if you like this video, send me some comments in the section below. Hit like and subscribe. And um, if you need private readings, my information is also down below. If this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.